like 3 a.m um so y'all welcome back to my youtube channel i know i took a long 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 break from youtube and i know i took a long break from my social medias but i'm back and i'm better and um we're gonna basically read this out this kind of vlog of the day because i'm gonna be cleaning up and i'm gonna talk about basically everything um about what's been going on and everything so um with that being said first please like comment and subscribe to my youtube um so let's just get started let's get into it so y'all um the reasoning of me taking a break um from social media Uh, I got off social media this week, about, to be honest, I can't even remember when I got off social media, um, I know it was, was it August, it was August or September, one of those, and I stayed off until, like, mid to May, um, the reason for that being, like, y'all, when I tell you I was down bad, like like oh my god I, it's just oh wait i really haven't talked about it like on camera it's been emotional to this day like don't nobody really expect it from like certain people or like strong people Y'all don't understand what people go through sometimes. Or just like, like, I be telling people, just check up on your family, check up on your friends. Like, if you care about somebody, please check up on them. Because you never know that y'all person, you never know what they're going through. Like, none of it. And it was just, it was a lot. Like, <sighs> I told myself I wasn't going to cry on this YouTube, but... I mean, it's just a lot, like, as far as depression, like, me not wanting to be with them, like, whew, it's just all of it, it was just a lot, but I'm grateful now, like, that I got through that, because when I tell y'all, oh Jesus, when I tell y'all, like, now, ooh, I'm getting emotional, but, when I tell y'all, like, now, baby, we're prospering, we're growing, we're, like, going to our goals, nothing's stopping us and none of that. So, but during the time that I was off social media, like, I had to reevaluate my life, reevaluate where I wanted to be and what I needed to do to get to where I wanted to be in life. So, during the time frame that I was going through my depression and everything, dealing with that. Um, I learned a lot about myself. Like, I learned a lot about myself. Um, I learned how I was coping with things. Like, how I do cope with things. For one, like, everybody know, where most people do know, that I had to start dancing. Like, I love dancing, like, in general. So, just, like, me dancing and, like, being an entertainer, as people say, or, um, what else is the term? Because I really don't like saying show. But the term of that sort. So basically I was doing that. I did that for a couple of months. I still do it like far as fitness and like everything of that sort. Like I have a pole in my in my living room. And when I tell you it's it's great fitness, like it is absolutely awesome. Like I do things like far as hold myself up with my legs from your arms, like abs. All that is great fitness, dealing with that. But it's like, it was just too much attached to it. Like, far as, like, people and just, what is the word? Society. I'm just say society. Far as society, as soon as people see a poll and see that you're an entertainer or dancer, they literally identify you as, you know, what people 
will say basically when people are saying and all that. So, but in society, it's stereotypical because it's just like everybody doesn't do exactly what entertainers or dancers do all the time. Like, say for instance, how how they figure that you sell your body or that you're basically into like sexual things or sex trafficking or like things of that sort. Like everybody be wanting to link. Everybody be like, oh, do you do this, do that? No, I'm not everybody. Like, I'm not everybody. But it's stereotypical. Everybody soon put you in that. But I knew what I signed up for when I did it. Just like private, only fans, anything of that sort. All that is extra income, just like being an entertainer. It's literally the same thing to me. Like, I know some dancers, some of these, some of them doing it just to put themselves to school, like through school, I'm sorry. And some of them, they literally are just doing it to make income, make ends meet. Some of them have babies and everything else and they're doing it to make income. Cause the nine to five is not enough. Like, I'm sorry, depending on like how much you're spending and stuff like that, that is not enough. That is why people do what they do. Like, so, with that being said, that's basically the background of, like, why I had to take a break for two years. It's too much on social media. It was just too much, as in, like, I wasn't where I wanted to be and everything else. So, I had to, I had to take a break for myself. Um, but, um, I do feel better. Like, okay, to the left. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Okay, I do feel like, um, hold up. So I do feel like really, really better, like far as like a lot. When I tell you, I, I wrote down a whole bunch of goals, like before the new year, like even before the new year started, like when I was going through my phase of like my, um, not really on social media stuff. So, I started writing down goals for 2022. Um, so, uh, of course, one of the main things is I'm looking for a master program because I want to go back to school and get a master's. And I want to be financially stable, of course. Like, anybody wants to be beyond financially stable to where they're wealthy, where you won't have to worry about anything, where your family don't have to worry about anything. To where your future kids don't have to worry about anything anything of that sort so with that i'm trying to also build my social media empire like i said um we're just gonna have to be consistent and i just have to keep keep being on myself because i had this problem when i was in college also about being consistent when i know i can be consistent and i know what i'm capable of i just have to apply myself um with that being said I also, during my months of, like, me not being on social media, I legit had to come to an agreement to where my depression was taking over, and that's when I started miscellaneous spending. Like, I was spending money on stuff that I didn't even need. Like, say, for instance, like, uh, clothes or stuff I didn't need. Like, when I tell y'all, if y'all see my closet, my closet is full to like capacity in this one bedroom apartment that I have and not even just that the shoes like I don't need no more shoes none of that and it it was just crazy until I really put a stop to it I think November the end of November going into December is when I legit was like okay I cannot do this because some of these bills and some of this stuff adding up was for no reason like and i had nothing to show for it so with that being said um i went through that like when you if you have to set goals and write it down write it down like i had to talk to my mom my dad like all of them and stuff like that they gave me advice on it because my mom knew that i used to write stuff down and check it off or like whatever you have to do like like the stuff that I that I already accomplished, I went on and checked off and everything. Like another thing, um, that's one of them, less spending on materialistic things because eventually it's gonna come. They're not gonna, like, you don't have to buy the stuff. 
take the time. Like, you don't have to make it seem like you're more than what you have, if that makes sense. Just because society has this story, they, oh, your favorite star has this and that. You don't have to be like that. You can be yourself. You can, you can shop on a, uh, on a budget. Sheen, Fashion Nova. Like, it's plenty of places they have dupes and all that other stuff and be just fine. I had to learn that. Um, my other thing is multiple streams of income. So far, I am entering like a whole bunch of instru um, I'm sorry, excuse me, income, different streams of income and stuff like that. Like, say for instance, like now I'm about to open my own business. Um, what else? Of course, like I said, like, far as the social media that's the income like and i'm not just talking about i'm talking about far as instagram branding or like tiktok youtube eventually like only fans privates all the social media that comes with it all together like all of it so um and also like i said my business and then i'm also trying to get into other things far as like with my father and my uncle like, and talk to them about, like, business plans and everything of that sort. So, you just have to become that mindset. Become the mindset of what you're trying to do in your future, basically. Um, what else? My other goal was to get my LLC. I went on and got that. Um, when I tell y'all, like, let me show y'all. Like, even though it's like a sketch, which is really, really crazy. But it was pay off everything before January. And when I tell you it was from my credit card, like I had a debt collector, like who we ain't even gonna get to the into that because it was it was from my school that I was in, my undergraduate school. And when I tell y'all I kept prolonging stuff like during this this time frame when I could have been paid it and I'm over here materialistic spending when I could have spent it on that and it could have been paid out but it's paid so like I just had bills bills that was unnecessary that I didn't need that I just kept piling up and thank you God that I literally sat down prayed about it literally told myself what I need to do and I went on and did it so and also, like, even with the time that that I was going through the depression and everything like that, like, I, I, one of the other goals was to finance, not financially, I'm sorry, spiritually get closer to God. Like, that, that was definitely one of my goals because I, I, I wasn't, I would pray, I would look at, like, verses here and there and stuff like that, but I wasn't where I wanted to be and I'm still not where I want to be because I'm still learning and I'm still growing. Um, so, also, I am now an Amazon influencer, I don't even know that. So, I bought this financial planner, um, so when I tell y'all in depth, like, in depth of, like, some of the stuff that it asks you, like, like, my goals, an idea map, all of it, let's see. It asks questions about your strategies, like your money affirmations for wealth and prosperity, actions to take to earn more money, actions to cut off like extra expenses. Um, and then let's see. So then it's also this month's goal. I checked off a couple of them that I did. Um, one of them was like I said, get my LLC and then let's see I had some taxes I had to pay in 2021 also prolonged it but I went on and paid them um some stuff I'm just doing and then on this side it has like the amounts and like the budgeted amount and the actual amount that you spent for it so it goes from like let me see I'm gonna show y'all a close up so y'all can actually see like all of it <laughs> i'm gonna just show y'all some of it because let's see 
so this is what I'm talking about. Like it says what you budgeted, what was the actual price, and it has a list of all these things from from your rent, insurance, maintenance, electric, heating, gas, all of it. So me being me, I literally had to get one because I did have to budget and I did have to go into this and stuff like that. And one of my goals actually this month is to self-pamper myself because when I say I have been like did, did my hair, got my lashes done and stuff like that and forever. So with that being said, also I bought thank you, a planner also. When I tell you this one is, it's even better. So um, this is a real good planner, like really, really good. And it asks you questions also in there. Like, what is the vision for the life I want? What are my core values? What am I passionate about? What brings me joy? What is my life purpose? What is the mission? What or who should I avoid in order to live happy and more fulfilling in life? I'm grateful for it. Then it, it says that my affirmations, things I remind my, I need to remind myself of. Um, when I tell y'all, I have not filled this out because when I saw it, I legit, I legit was like, oh my gosh, I really, really need to ask myself these questions because it is in depth of all of it. And then with the monthly reviews that's on here, um, it says, what are my biggest wins? What were the biggest learned lessons and insights gained? But this is just a monthly review. This is what you gain like monthly and stuff like that. What tasks were not accomplished and why? How do I feel like I progressed this month? And then it says on a scale of one to 10, how did I overall do about this past month? And it asks, how will I improve the next month? And so it also say, which life areas were lacking and why. So just to get into these, when I tell y'all, I'm, I'm really getting to all of this stuff because I know my goals and I know what I need to go ahead and do. Um, so I have been looking at your colleges, like I said too, for my masters and I'm so excited, like so excited for the fall. And it's either going to be the fall or the spring of next year. So, um, I have my top four choices so far, and I'm too excited about that because I can finish within two years of a full time. And I know, I know what I'm capable of, so I know I can go full time and get it out the way, like one to two years if I go full time. Um, and with that being said, I also picked up another job um a lot of people know me as the workaholic because with last year i had like um i literally had like three or four jobs at the same time yeah and it was really me just working a lot just to make ends meet to where i wanted them to meet because i know i want them to be on financial um with that being said we um just gonna get into just me growing and building from where i want to be in life and stuff like that so with that being said y'all please 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 stay tuned um i'm show y'all this when i say y'all it's so cute this is so gorgeous I'm going to, hold on. Well, I'm going to have to show y'all like in the dark and stuff like that. But I'm going to do that when I do my vlog um, and everything. And and when I clean up and stuff like that because your girl can sweep. And it was just heavily on my mind to speak about this because depression is real, y'all. Like it is legit real. You may not. You may feel like you alone and all that other stuff, but it's people that will talk to you, that will help you. Like my sister, when I tell you, literally helped me 
through it and I'm wooey. I'm not about to tear up anymore, but I'm so, 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 so grateful for her and my cousin, like Poo Poo. And like the people that I talk to during this phase that I'm just so grateful for. Like so grateful for. Um but yeah, so I got that off my chest. So to be honest, I really feel like really, 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 really good. Um so yeah, I'm gonna do a vlog a little bit later because like I said, I'm gonna be cleaning up my apartment venting about stuff and all that other stuff like kind of what's been going on like now that i'm back on social media and everything but yeah because your girl who look look we just gonna come over here real quick and i'm gonna just show y'all like do y'all do y'all see all these wigs and y'all can't even see all of them this over there but when I tell y'all, it's so much weeks over there in these boxes, like all these, all these need to be reviewed. I have some hair that Vendor's been sent me and all the other stuff. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, I have a lot of work to do and I need to get on it and I need to be consistent and I will... What the old, not old folks say, but I will kick myself in the tail if I have to, just to get on myself and stuff like that. But, so we about to be more consistent. Y'all gonna get tired of seeing my pretty little face on YouTube now. Yeah, yeah. But, um, cause I'm gonna be doing all types of stuff, like for real, for real, from like cooking. I do vlogs every once in a while, hair, DIY projects, um how my business going how my life going shoot if y'all want me to i even do some fitness some pose stuff like just leave stuff in the comments leave me some ideas i'm always open to ideas y'all so with that being said i am about to go to sleep because i actually feel better now that i rented a little bit and stuff like that but I will definitely talk to you guys in like probably a couple of hours. We just gonna get a couple of hours of sleep probably. And then we gonna get up and we gonna clean up and we gonna do my hair and we about to get cute and do my lashes. And oh yeah, y'all probably see this tattoo, but I'm gonna go through, you know, that a little bit later too while I'm ranting and stuff like that. Cause I got a couple of tattoos that y'all ain't seen since I've been off social media and a little ducked off, you know, and all that. But and my my little journey, cause your girl, like, well, after, you know, I had to get over my little phase and stuff like that. Of uh, what the well? Oh, this got a little. This a little pen in here. Oh, okay. But, um, y'all, I'm getting distracted because this little thing. Let's see. All right, it's out now. But, y'all, so, um, but other than that, y'all, I tell y'all, I've been doing good so far, though. Like, really, really, really good. Like, way better. Okay, but I've been getting like real, 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 like really, really, really good with some of the stuff I've been doing. So the fact that now some of the stuff is like, um, I rock it to me, like far as um, like I said, from the TikTok, my um, uh, what is it, my instagram my fault <laughs> my instagram and uh oh yeah i got pieces too look, look we just gonna talk about all that in detail because when i tell y'all like 
your girl was going through something. So I was legit like trying to cope with it different types of ways. Um, and you have to find your way to cope with, it, you know, depression. Cause I was literally not going anywhere on weekends, like for I don't know how long. And some people notice. It was like, why you haven't been, you know, with you and all that other stuff. And I'd be like, yeah, I just don't feel like it. Like, you know. And so, with that being said, we're going to go ahead, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and take me a little nap before I have to get back up and I feel my thing. But this little vlog. And, um, but other than that, y'all, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um. I hope you guys really, really go ahead and enjoy my channel. And we're about to be back consistent with all of this. Like, no, nothing is going to stop this. Nothing but me. And I'm not going to stop this. So we're going to keep going. Period. All right, y'all. So thank you for tuning in to Best of the Win. Deuces. And there she goes. I'm like, damn, there she go, go.